Oh, you guys are back. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, it's day seven. We're building a log cabin for my mom. We're taking her out of the city and bringing her to the country. And we are, I thought I'd say we're moving along pretty good at a pretty good clip. This is day seven. Uh, today we're gonna just tighten up our forms uh, that we put in, because tomorrow is concrete. So we're gonna walk you guys through the finishing touches here. We're also gonna put a, a little place to walk in and out of the crawl space. Um, so you can see how that goes and uh, just getting everything ready plus I'll have to move some dirt later on uh, to get the concrete truck up a little higher in the back here so we can get all the walls filled in with concrete so here comes another exciting video walking you through the process of building mama log cabin so hit that subscribe button don't go anywhere I'm, I know I'm kind of whispering out here because it's so quiet <laughs> all right here we go Oh, by the way, just for the record, it's like 22 degrees, and uh, it's pretty crispy out here. And I see a lot of snow coming in. They say in the uh, East Coast this weekend here, this week, you guys are gonna see two feet of snow. So that's why we're in a hurry here, because pretty soon that'll be us. That's what happens, you know, these old guys get yeah. retired and hang around their wives all the time. They get yeah. they, they don't get used to hanging around guys no more. <laughs> they get soft on us. <laughs> I hope, hope it's that. They get, they get sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> Spike it. Spike it. Spike the 16 penny nails and just grab them around it and then set it in there. You don't want to do it after it's in there because it, it's too too hard. Just grab the nails in it. So the concrete all in place. They call it a spiking it. Yeah. Now if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Oh, I'll well, I mean, what I do when I get it in there, I just crawl side of it and I throw a bunch of screws in this way. Screws from the inside out? Okay. Well, that's I mean, that's right. fine, but I can spike it from the outside. I'll so, spike it. If you want to do it that way, yeah, that's fine. You got spike enough it. screws to get out? Yeah, I guess a three inch screws is what I'm talking Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I, I'm just, it's good to hear everyone's ways though. See? Yeah, we, we never did have all that commodities like <laughs> screws and shit. Remember, don't do the top side. Well, why not? Because it's too close because to the top. Because it's going to the very top. Oh, right. Even with the top? Even with yeah. the top. All right, well, this is the bottom. The bottom. The bottom. The bottom. The bottom. The Now they got to get the rebar out. <laughs> you ain't got no rebar in there. Why you got the rebar bent? But I wasn't thinking. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> hey, so where do you want this box at? And the we're wall is over there. Where do you want it at? Here? Over here somewhere, yeah. Well, you might figure that. Where's all the bed rebar thing? Alright, just, you know, all the plumbing and everything's on this side is what I'm thinking. Okay. So the quickest right. way in is right there. Over right. there, I gotta walk all the way over there. Alright, yeah, we're gonna let you walking all the way around. Yeah, not over there. Alright, you guys see what he's talking about there? We're putting these nails all around there. And then that concrete's gonna grab those nails and keep that box in place. Good old tricks. 
So yesterday we were talking about fillers, and that's what a filler is. It's just a little piece of the forms there where a normal piece isn't going to fit, so we had to cut a piece and get that little gap filled up. Two by six, or two I thought you built two by six, by four. Two by eight. We're talking about putting the uh, pockets in the foundation for the beam that goes across there for the floor. There's a lot of engineering going on here, some hillbilly engineering. What's that over there? You got two by ten? Now you got left out of that board? Yeah. All right, so this is uh, the pocket that we have to put in for the beam that's going to go across the floor that way, that's going to support the floor so it's not bouncy. And what are you doing, Gary? Putting some foam on here so this way it makes it really easy to knock them back out. If you don't, then you're having to pry these 2x4s out of there and you can actually damage your concrete. So those are going to set in the wall and then the concrete will pour around it and then you take that out and that'll leave right. the void. This will be screwed to the forms like this. This is going to be a void inside the concrete wall. And uh, once we get the concrete poured, just take a hammer and this foam right here is going to make it really easy for this to fall right out of there. All right, remember that buck we put in to get in and out? There it is right there. We put it in flush with the uh, blue line there. That's going to be where the concrete top is. And then that'll be my entrance point in and out of the crawl space. I put it on this side because all the plumbing and everything is going to be on this wall. So it'll be a shorter walk on my knees. Pockets are in. That's what it'll look like. And we got a little piece right here we need. Who's level this here aluminum one? I think yours is right. You sure? Yeah. Alright, we gotta start cleaning up all this mess. So that way everything's out of the way. So we have to bring some dirt in. If everything's thawing out enough, you can pick it up. Thank you. 
Well, in case you guys are wondering what the big conversation's all about, <laughs> we got some of these corners down there, and there's a little daylight showing in them. You know, as you make that turn, that pin there, these forms are kind of old, so they're a little bit and stretched out. So, I'd luckily, I had some angle iron stuff um, in the back of my truck, so we're going to see if we can't fashion this on there and get it to work. You know what I'm saying? They're all going to leak a little bit. We can't, oh, yeah. We can't pull all the corners off. No. But this one was pretty big, you said. Well, this is pretty big, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had some stuff factors in my truck and I can't find them. You'll be done before I find them. I'm Maybe. Go I'm going to hold this thing here and Gary's going to try to squeeze in this little opening right there. And then we're going to get this thing screwed up here so we can close off this corner. We're going to need two of these things or what? I know you want it at the bottom for sure. You guys leave a comment leave a comment down below do you guys like yesterday's hat better on Gary or today's hat <laughs> all right you guys even notice he had a different hat on today he's trying to trick you up a little bit so leave a comment down below which hat you like better Walking that fine line, Lucille. Yeah, they do this way. I ain't got no room here. I know. I'm trying to hold her on there. There you go. As long as we close them holes, we'll be all right. Slide that one back a little bit. Right, yeah, you have to. Yeah. Like that. Bada bing, bada boom. I think two screws will do it. You drill a hole in there. From here to that tie to that tie at the bottom, but you're not. Okay, so this you know what I'm saying? That didn't come out. Pull it all away. Keep going, keep going. Back the old one up. Now, now you're talking. Now you gotta get it, you gotta get it back in the mother, that first tie down there in the middle. No, there's a rod in there. You got it. This one's not even necessary. No, you don't even need that one. Are we good there? Now, see, now you're tied on both sides of this. Right, I got you. You're not stopping in the middle. As long as we got everything tight. You got to make sure all these overlaps are good. All these seams are covered. Yeah, we started there. We already did. Yep. That rod. Here we got two rods in behind each other. Yeah. Got everything picked up. Ah, man. This is the most important part of this whole thing, right? Is getting around there and uh, just making sure everything is tight. Everything is where it needs to be. All the seams are covered. Because when you're dealing with concrete and you put concrete in those forms and that stuff's coming out, I tell you what, you blow out those walls quickly, okay? And uh, when we did our ICF root cellar, you guys should check out that playlist if you haven't seen that yet. It's on YouTube and we walk you through the whole ICF playlist. We did an ICF root cellar and it was quite an experience and it was pretty cool and you should check it out. So what I have to do right now, everyone's gone. I cleaned up the area, the sun's coming down. 
Well, there was no sun today, but it is getting dark out. I gotta fire up the skid steer, and then I have to start bringing this dirt over. I don't know if you guys can tell, but see, right there, the ground starts to drop right there, okay? Well, that's a problem, because if this concrete truck is laying like this, I can't get the chute in there properly, okay? So I'm gonna raise all this up right here. I'm not gonna put anything against the hot, um, forms or in that area there at all. I just want to bring it out out here so the guy can drive on the truck and then get in there so his back end is up higher so then we can reach further across uh, that back wall there okay on both sides it's gonna be kind of tricky out here so stay tuned for that video to be next up they'll be here tomorrow morning nine o'clock today's Tuesday tomorrow's Wednesday morning you guys are seeing these pretty quick all right I got to get at it thanks as always for stopping in on the build uh, if you're new around here. My wife and I live in a log cabin that we built ourselves a decade ago. We've lived here for a decade. No wind turbines, no solar power, no public utilities, off-grid, hardcore, doing the thing. We have a thousand videos on YouTube for you guys to glean from. And, uh, you know, it's been pretty fun, okay? It's been a great experience. We just now hooked up solar power and we're moving our mom from the city. She lives in Ferguson, if you can imagine. And we're gonna bring her up here to the country and we're gonna build her a log cabin so you guys can go through this whole process with us in case you wanna be like mom, all right? Don't go anywhere. Watch me move some dirt around. And uh, this is always the fun part, but you guys will probably leave, so I'll see you in the morning. But for you hardcores out there, just stick around. I wanna get this stuff moved around. <laughs> all right, all right. guys see what I'm doing there? Just raising that ground up because that's going to get his truck nice and level here and that'll allow that chute to get over the side there. Thanks a lot Jerry and Gary and even Roy if you're watching for helping us build Mama log cabin out here. We do really appreciate you guys coming up. We know you got other things to do. We appreciate your friendship and we appreciate you coming by. So, And we appreciate all you guys out there in YouTube land and the internet because you're all part of our great big family. And we appreciate you guys tuning in every day, all right? I'm going to get this done before the moon flies up. And then uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, 9 o'clock. We're going to have some concrete flowing around here. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs>